So what's up guys, in the previous video we analyzed a PFR, PFR plug fill reactor with gas phase or at gas phase, isothermal, no pressure drops with first order reaction. Now it's time to analyze the second order reaction. And the only thing here is that mathematics get a little bit more complicated, but it's still no problem. Or at least it's kind of easy to model. We want to analyze the effect of change on moles. So for example, if I have A and it's turning to 2B, I have an overall change of one mole because I have two moles at the end and I have one mole at the beginning, so I'm duplicating the amount of moles. So once again, I told you guys that the concentration you cannot uh, use it as constant because this volumetric flow is changing so we need to account for that how do we account for that is first by accounting in the change of moles and of course the change on conversion conversion generally goes up to 1 now we substitute this data to have it also in terms of conversion we got this and this and this will be our term for concentration at any time of A so let's do it. We have a second order, same reactor. This is our reactor. It has a rate of reaction here. Inlet, outlet, and we have second order here. This is our design equation. Doesn't uh, matter if it's first order, second order, whatever. You have T small balance for the PFR. So what I'm going to do is essentially just plug this value here. And I got K times square or concentration of a to the square power not to the to, to the second power sorry and what else we need to substitute this because we need conversion we have this differential and conversion so that's why I need to change concentrations and why not also this flow here so I got this which is this part I take out k because it's a constant and I have substitute this part right here and not only that but I will do it to the square power, so square initial concentration of A, square difference of conversion, and square correction of volume. Now doing some math, I take out this because it's a constant, this is to the first power, and second and second. So this goes away, this is take to the first one, so I got volumetric flow, K, and initial concentration, which is here. I use the integral from appendix A7 from my book. Uh, Scott Fogler's book and it's sold like this if you don't believe me you can do the math I actually didn't uh, do it I just copied the solution and you have these 2 times epsilon times 1 plus epsilon remember epsilon is mole fraction of A or initial mole fraction of A times the change in moles natural logarithm of this difference plus this part right here plus this part right here. So these two guys are, let's say, because or due to the second order reaction. And I don't want to analyze that much the analytics of this or the solution. You just need to plug numbers. Normally you will have a volumetric flow given, yes. Will you have an initial concentration? Yes. Will you have decay? Hopefully, yes. Do you have conversion? No, actually, conversion, you propose it. You know it's from zero to one. And epsilon is, as I told you before, this value here. So this value, you, you can calculate it, because it's also constant from the initial concentration and this guy here. So essentially you have everything to solve a volume versus conversion. That actually is what I've done here. Not only that, I included many, or at least not, at least four changes in epsilon. So our base case is the green one, it's when epsilon equals zero or when it's a liquid phase, so we have this perfect now let's see how much do you need for the 90% let's do a graph, or let's say 80% it's easier so for 80% you need uh, it's actually so small, It's let's say maybe 10 cubic meters but the red one which is you decrease the amount so maybe A turns into half B we are losing half moles, so the red one will be this one, and you need, let's say, 5 cubic meters. Now, you can see as the first order, it's also the same, but this is more drastically. Before, we got 
small volumes and now you can see it's huge amounts of volume why because of the dramatic change of concentration you know concentration depends directly on the function let me go back yeah here so if this number is 1 you have no problem at all actually 1 times or uh, squared is equal 1 and you have no problems and will be as the first order but what happens when epsilon is not 1 but let's say it's 1 you will get a 2 and 2 times or 2 to the square power is 4 so just because you change it epsilon in one unit you're going to have a 4 time change here and imagine epsilon equals 3 you will have 3 plus 1 okay maybe you have, have something about like that you can see how it goes exponentially every time every time so that's why as epsilon goes or increases this graph goes faster and faster to the left until you will need almost infinite volume to satisfy that conversion so what's the important lesson of this story is that you should try to get this number to zero or if you can do it negative as this, the problem thing here guys or the thing here is that you cannot actually control that because A will form half of B this is mass balance, stoichiometric, uh, chemical kinetics etc so there is actually no way going around you may change the reaction which in many cases is not that possible so why do I do this is essentially so you can see how this little thing affects if it's second order and imagine the third order it will be extremely higher and fourth order etc you will need more and more volume so yeah essentially that's the second order let me make another video for the conclusion of the first and second order reactions using PFR in gas phase What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues, or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.